What's going on Collider Games fans? I'm Caboose and today what I got for you guys here is my first impressions of Red Dead Online as well as a look here in the background at the character creation for Red Dead Online. Unfortunately, there was a bit of downtime and some issues going on with the Xbox One, so a lot of players who own the Xbox One and the Ultimate Edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 weren't able to play the game until very recently when the servers finally went live. So I jumped in, got a bit of gameplay in there, got to see some of the first opening story missions. Of course, I created my own character and everything, and while I gotta say, I am enjoying it a lot so far. One of my biggest gripes, though, one of my biggest takeaways, and it is something that I honestly was expecting to happen is that we don't have a voice once again carrying the tradition over from gta online our main character does not have a voice and honestly i don't know why this is the case it really bugs me but i guess what it all boils down to is that a the game's still in beta so maybe that could be something that is added down the line and b with Red Dead Online, if they're going to be handling this very similar to what they did with GTA Online, there are going to be a ton of content updates for the game. So there's only so much they can bring in a group of voice actors to do for Red Dead Online. So that, I understand. I'll let it slide. It still is a little annoying. It would have been cool if in the character creation, we could have just had a bunch of different voice selections to choose from. I honestly wouldn't mind if my character just spoke just a little bit you know one word answers i'm fine with that it just for me is so awkward when you're going through cutscenes and people are just talking to you non-stop and you're just nodding you know <laughs> you're just nodding the whole time so that's my biggest takeaway that's my biggest gripe outside of that i really like what we got going on here i love that you can set up your own camp obviously you know you can posse up you can get some friends together there is a ton to do here in red dead online and that much i am very happy to see I appreciate the character customization. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's bad, though. It's definitely a lot more detailed than what we got with the GTA Online character creation. However, I feel like there still could have been more options there. There were a lot of things where I was customizing my character where I was like, man, I really only have like three or four options here, especially with the hair customization. There really wasn't much presented to me, but granted, that's probably because when I go to a barber in the open world, then I can be able to customize my hair a little bit more. But of course, then you got to spend some of that in-game money to do so, and you got to earn that in-game money in order to spend it. So it is a little unfortunate that just right off the bat, I didn't have too many options available to me, but it is what it is. Like I said, at least... At least it's a little more detailed than the character creation we got in GTA Online. I know that's not saying much, but it's something. There are some great game modes right now available in Red Dead Online. The Showdown series features a ton of new game modes to play through and have fun with. I believe I even heard that there is a Battle Royale mode in Red Dead Online, although it's not very traditional in the Battle Royale that we've seen in that genre. It's like a small little area and all you have available to you based on the map is either a bow and arrow or throwing knives. At least that's from what I've heard. I haven't played through the Battle Royale mode just yet, but I'm going to keep playing through that Showdown series and have some fun there. That is a great way as well to earn some money in Red Dead Online. So play through the Showdown series. I'm telling you, it's a ton of fun. And then I did notice that there is a store section in the pause menu for Red Dead Online. However, it's currently locked. Now, I don't know if that's just something for the Xbox, but from what I can tell, it is because we are still in beta with Red Dead Online, but I'm assuming once Red Dead Online kind of goes into its final stages and it comes out of beta, there's going to be that store available and microtransactions will probably be in the game so that you can buy some more in-game money so that you can kind of get ahead a little bit easier. Now, granted... I'm probably not going to be doing that. The only thing that I'm hoping for here, though, with Red Dead Online, and so far it seems good, is that it's not going to get me to a point like I did with GTA Online, where I was like, well, all the really cool stuff just costs a billion dollars, and it's really difficult to earn a lot of money by just playing through missions, so I might as well just spend my own cash so I can get some of the in-game cash and get that cool stuff. With the little game time that I have right now in Red Dead Online, it doesn't seem like I'm getting to that point, but jury is still out. I'm going to put in a lot more hours into Red Dead Online, and then we'll see if this is just GTA Online all over again. But if we're talking first impressions, so far so good. I am enjoying the hell out of Red Dead Online, and now all that I have left to do is to get a group of friends going, get some of the Collider Games crew online, and posse up and jump into the world together as a gang and enjoy Red Dead Online 
as an experience with some friends but that's it that's my thoughts my first impression so far on red dead online and now we kick it to you guys have you had your chance to play it yet and if so what did you think about it and of course if you don't have it available to you just yet take in mind that today it was available only for people who own the ultimate edition of red dead redemption 2 then tomorrow and thursday it will be available for those who played it within the first launch weekend of red dead redemption 2 and then this week friday red dead online will become available for everyone but again let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video a like rating would be appreciated and then you can subscribe to the collider games channel for more red dead online coverage and all gaming coverage i've been caboose and i'll see you guys later